Here on the Uncle Nasty Show, we realize there's been a lot of changes in our country over the last month or so. And not everybody is excited about it. Some people feel that their voices are being shut and they're not allowed to express themselves. So here on the Uncle Nasty Show, Matt Need and I came up with the idea of hashtag not PC. This will give you, the Uncle Nasty viewer, the opportunity to say what you really want to say and say it how you really feel it with anonymity. I find Caitlyn Jenner unattractive. World viral. If you can high in Colorado today, enjoy it. Colorado Harvest Company. Colorado Harvest Company. Colorado Harvest Company. Bavarian cream, strawberry, watermelon chili. With over 441 flavors to choose from, you are guaranteed to find a flavor that you like. Anything from coconut, sweet tarts, even monkey farts, anything, and you'll probably find what you like. Welcome to iVapor Depot, Denver's chief retailer of vaporizers and electronic cigarettes. We are committed to helping individuals transition from a bad habit into a healthier lifestyle. iVapor Depot is your go-to store for all of your vaping needs. Located conveniently on Denver's Green Mile, iVapor Depot offers its customers only the highest quality of product from the leading names in the vaping industry. Our arsenal of products include not only vaporizers, but batteries and premium e-juices. iVapor Depot, 1559 we'll South Broadway. iVapor Depot. <laughs> All right, we're back here on Music Buzz Live Radio, powered as always by Evergreen Apothecary, Colorado Harvest Company. Now it's kind of like a rebirthing. It is. It's a rebirthing. It if you haven't been to the the Broadway location, you need to go in, dude. It's been all remodeled, whole lot of space. Got the medical side open. Very awesome. I can announce that we do have a grand opening coming up on September 16th, which is really cool on our brand new Aurora location. So come out and check us out. Say what's up. That's I think right. we're all going to be chilling. But also, want to throw some love to National Speaker. And our new sponsor, Roof Rehab. Yeah. Roof Rehab. An so eye vapor depot. With Roof Rehab on board, we are going to be launching a new segment in the next couple of weeks called Raising the Roof, where we highlight a community <laughs> member that is badass. Is that like 80s if I do that when you do that? I'd say it's mid-90s. Is it mid-90s? Yeah, okay, cool. mid-90s. Raise the roof anyway with yes. Roof Rehab. So right now we've got uh, little Helen Rose all the way from New York in, in the house. What's and up? And we're going to do uh, Music Buzz Live Top 5. Top 5. This week we're doing labels for potheads, basically whatever you think would be the most appropriate uh, to call your pothead friends. Chris has never called me any of these ever. Tim, I think you might have called me one of these every once in a while. Probably. So, All right, and they could be ready? negative or or positive connotation. You know, we're just kind of going with whatever people call people that smoke weed. So yeah, yes. these were the top five votes and. Some of the other votes we got were pretty ridiculous. There was a lot of really uh, crazy ones. It's like just like a human. Human. Yeah. Or respectable person, I think, was another respectable one. Per respectable person. So, uh, insightful, ingenious. We yeah. had all of those fun things. So like, the, the lovely Helen is playing here at Herman's Hideaway tonight, which is really cool. Right? Yeah, come on down. Also, ND22 and Amalgam Effect, who've done really well here in the past. So we're stoked to have them back. All right, you ready to do the top all five? Right, number five. Number five. The, are we ready? Drum roll, please. Uh. All right. Hippie. 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 Well, that's not a surprise. That's lame. That's <laughs> that's lame, if you ask me. I've been called that sometimes, and it cracks me up because I don't feel like I'm the stereotypical hippie. Like, yeah. I don't have dreads and shit. You know what I mean? I think it works. 
Yeah. I, th- I think it belongs on the lower lower part of the five, though, for sure, you know. So it, it is around a lot. You apparently aren't the only one that thinks that. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right, right. Number four. Name this for a pothead. Stoner. Stoner. Stoner, yeah. Stoner. I mean, can we get a little more original than this? Like, <laughs> These were just two... Yeah, these were just not, two of the top, two of the top ones. I it was there was a be. lot of people that were that were voting in these these ones, so I kind of felt like I had to. Yeah, it works. I've All been right. called a stoner a lot. Let's so. see if number three is gonna raise the roof a little bit. Here. <laughs> see what I did there? I, I like that. Burner. 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 I like that. That's a little Burner. better. Burner's cool. It reminds me of uh of uh the Breakfast Club. Yeah. There right? you go. Totally. Yeah, for sure. Totally. Yeah, he was definitely a burner, right? Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Chad, you're definitely a burner. Chad, yeah. you're a burner. I th- I feel like I'm more of a stoner than a burner, but either way, I guess it's apples to oranges, not really. Yeah. Apples to apples. All right. I liked number two and number one, though. They were really awesome. All right, here we go. This one better be good. Better be good. The Green, green Fiend. Green Fiend. The Green Fiend. Okay. That's probably the best one yet. I like that one. That was a surprise. I wasn't expecting the green fiend. I like how you wrote it in a green marker. Yeah. I, dude, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to highlight it. I thought that it was a pretty, pretty interesting way. Good name. I, I hadn't like heard it. it. That's important. All right, this All number right. one. The number one. Right. Real quick, before we do this, did you guys think you were gonna get to be like game show host while you were on this tour? <laughs> no idea. Right. No you idea. Never she know says. What's gonna happen? Right. <laughs> You're lucky we showered. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. You All ready? Right, number one. Herbivore. <laughs> Herbivore. Herbivore. I like that. All right. Cool. I loved that one, dude. I was like, hell yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> like, I don't need meat. I just need my, my trees and flowers. All right. Hey, you can do anything yeah. you Thank want you, to Helen. Do. You want to set it down and talk to us about your band a little bit? Yeah, yeah. let's hear We've also, we have your guitar player in the house, too. What was your name one more time, man? Danny Roman. Danny Roman. All right. And you guys are both out of New York. Uh, he's out of the, like, the Boston area. In, into Boston. the mics, guys. Yeah. So we got a Red Sox and a Yankees fan in the house? Is that what's going on? Uh-oh. Something like that. <laughs> I always like the Red Sox, dude. They're cool. Yeah. Bostonians are always the awesome, right? Yeah. Is that what you call them, Bostonians? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Mass <Mass-hole. laughs> see. And you know what? I, the only... Issue I ever had with people from Boston was when the Rockies played them in the World Series eight years ago when we actually were an okay team. Yeah. Uh, and all the mass holes in Colorado were douchebags that week. <laughs> I imagine in our hometown they would definitely be. Yeah. 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 Th- that's all good. Uh, most of the Boston people that I know from out here, like when they're out here, aside from when their team is playing against ours, they're usually pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. Very for cool. Sure. Yeah. We've- I'm not getting audio for some reason. Oh, Chris. Uh-oh. At all. On the guitars? Weirdly. On the guest mics. On the guest, On the guest mics. mics. All right, well. In, in, anyway, in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about little Helen Rose, and we're going to use sign language to convey what they're saying. Okay. All right, so Uh-oh. thumbs up or thumbs down. You guys are uh, playing kind of a, a twanged out country music? Medium. Okay. That's a medium. <laughs> Uh, Chad, now you go. Is it true that you're a master of the saxophone? <laughs> oh, we got a thumbs up for that one. Master of the saxophone. Master of the saxophone. That's pretty um, cool. Let's see. New Wh- York is better than Boston. <laughs> yeah, is that well, right? Two thumbs sure. up on yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, I want to go to both of them. I yeah, honestly, I've I'm not. Uh, I lived outside of D.C. for a while, but I haven't spent too much time on the East Coast. <laughs> um, Chris, how are we doing back there? Uh, I don't have anything. All right. Uh, we're going to keep playing. Yeah. This, this one should be working. There it is. You hear that? I hear her. I hear her. All right, we're back. All right, All right. we're back. Yay. Sorry thumbs about up, that. Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> Jesus. That's awesome. You know, that's just, sometimes you just got to wing it. Got to go. You gotta go. Yep. Got to get yeah. Tim Winger it. All right, so give us a little bit of background uh, on, on this tour and how you guys got to this point. Yeah, for sure. So um, Danny and I actually met in, uh, we went to this crazy arts boarding school in New Hampshire called uh, High Mowing. And we both kind of came from school situations where we were like, we got to get out of here. And Danny's a native of New Hampshire, and I'm actually from L.A., so I'm really a Dodgers fan. Don't tell anyone. Oh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we met, and 
you know, we've pretty much been playing music on and off for the past seven years. Yeah. Now we're, cool. Very cool. you know, kind of turning into geezers, <laughs> 25-year-old geezers playing the blues. Um, we always <laughs> found, like, a solace in kind of, you know, studying these old blues players. Danny tears it apart. He was playing with Buddy Guy when he was, like, mm. 17, 18, you know. Wow. Um, and uh, it was our music teacher, Elise McDonald, that was, like, you know just kind of helped me break free on the saxophone and learn how to use my my natural ear and everything i'm not trained in jazz or blues it's just kind of something that comes out you know cool okay yeah so <clears throat> where did the little part come from that i imagine i'm not yeah. the first person to ask that question. i mean i'm a very humorous person and uh my producer and dear friend uh marvin etzioni you know he always kind of likes like to you know make jest at the fact that i'm like six foot one you know and then i wear heels and i'm six three or whatever so <laughs> you know my name's helen rose and he was like i think it should be little helen rose you know there's too many names out there right and like you know i eventually want this project to develop into something more than than just me um, for sure because i think the kind of music that we play is really rare for our generation and you know the fact that we're up there playing raw real stuff not that there aren't other bands doing that but um you know i just hope to keep this style of music alive and thriving in a world where you know we're getting increasingly electronic yeah it's right. unfortunate somebody's got to keep this stuff alive for sure yeah. right and if you check out my ep it's all live there's no overdubs there's nothing we just recorded it live outside and um and there's no you know auto tunes or anything like that so that's awesome so what of the places you guys have been, what are some of the best markets that you guys found for your music? Or that have been the most receptive, put on the best part? We had a really area. good experience in San Francisco yeah. about a week ago. That yeah. was Very cool. amazing. It was really fun. Um, yeah. we, we actually just got off tour with Patrick Sweeney. Um, wow. Cool. Yeah, yeah, really great guy, man. We we had a really, super, really super fun duper. time with him and his bandmates. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think playing and opening up for him was really incredibly complimentary to you know what we're doing because he's got that old soul blues thing yeah. but we've also you know if you see our show we might we might just pull out some rock and roll hey. some led zeppelin might that's, be that's creeping fine out with me. <laughs> yeah have you have you guys had a lot of reception uh throughout the nation like is it has it been a really cool vibe in the country around this genre yeah, I mean, California, like, we definitely were expecting just to kind of be like the little mousy openers and, you know, like, do our thing and then, you know, get to watch Patrick and everything, which we did, which I feel so grateful for. But, you know, people were really stoked on the music and stuff. Um, throughout the nation, uh, we haven't really been that many places. We've done a lot of East Coast stuff. And then this is the, actually the first couple gigs, you know, in the middle. The it's not even the yeah, middle, yeah, yeah. but... Got yeah. the coast locked down though. Yeah, yeah. Colorado, yeah. Coloradans yeah. Cool. do not want to be classified in the Midwest. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Here do not like <laughs> not <that>. middle <laughs> at all. The the funky West. Yeah, I don't <laughs> mind it. Midwest is fine. No, we're, we, <laughs> no people you're not like Midwest Colorado at all. like to consider Denver to, or Colorado to be like an oasis. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, it totally much. is. It's <laughs> very <laughs> healing here. It's like feel very grounded. Yeah, yeah everybody's so kind of nice. Place. Very cool. Right on. So what's the best place to check out your guys' tunes? Uh, you can go to YouTube, YouTube Little Helen Rose. You can go to my website, littlehelenrose.com. Uh, um, yeah, I'm always looking to, to book gigs and to chat, and, you know, I hope that you dig the tunes, and we're looking forward to playing here tonight. Right on. Well, thank cool. you guys for stopping by. I know yeah. you guys got to get ready to rock, so we'll let we you We appreciate you doing the, the Music Buzz Live oh, Top yeah. 5. <laughs> we we, we appreciate really you being behind her the whole time. Yeah, yeah, that's what we stole you. That's what I do, man. Show that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> To do a little quick uh, shit show, Hell yeah. I suppose you could call yeah. it. But thank you guys so much Come for coming Come here, back. Danny. Tear it up, man. You're going <laughs> yeah, to no, love we, it. We, will, Thanks, we were listening to you guys uh, check up there, and it's yeah. definitely nice and uh, clear. Yeah. So we'll be up there. Thank you guys again. This is Music Buzz Live. Stick around. we still got Hack It or Axe coming around. And Crazy Kelly. And Crazy Kelly.
Here's an idea. Let's take a well-known local music editor, stick him in a room with a couple hot chicks, Evergreen Apothecary's Chad Drew, the quintessential stoner, and then we'll force him to watch some videos of an uncensored, cracked-out motel shit show from next door. <laughs> Sound awesome? I like it. Tune in to Music Buzz Live Radio Wednesdays, 6 to 8 p.m., right here on World Viral TV. World Viral.